Well, it's not us that's done all the work. It's been taxes managed to pull a rabbit out the hat somehow and find her in quite a dense thick area so i'm just trying to get in here quickly and i'm going to position i don't see any sign of the little one yet it's just her on the mound and there we go so the belated birthday present that i owed ali not my ali as in ali that guides with us and presents with us but there's ali a viewer who asked me very nicely to find shadow on her birthday there we go finally we have managed to find her about two weeks later and you can see she's resting really nicely in the shade of the mound i wonder if the little one will come out maybe a little bit later within once all the cars have settled that the little tracks will come or the little cub will come and bound out towards mom on the mound but isn't that a sight for sore eyes long time since we've seen shadow and there's been so much activity of hers around this area that i'm surprised that we haven't actually seen her more often we keep finding tracks for her but now at least we get to spend some really quality time with our leopard she's still looking ever so pretty she's a little bit on the skinnier side now that i can see her stomach nicely so it would be good for her to grab a meal hopefully she'll get something in the next few days or even tonight there's lots and lots of prey animals on our way to get here from where those elephants were we had some uh, kudu we had steenbok we had daker we had zebras so there's lots of food and impalas lots of food items in this general vicinity so i'm hoping that she's going to be able to find something this evening and at least fill that belly and hopefully the big guy tingana is not around that actually then steals it from her as you can see she's just watching what's going on i'm sure she's going to fall asleep shortly once all the vehicles settle down a little bit you're going to find that it's quite a warm afternoon still and so being up on a mound like this she's now gotten onto the side where the shade is and she's going to be perfectly situated to have a really good afternoon nap There you go, you can see how shady it is on the side of the mound, so she's chosen very well. And from up there, she's also going to be able to see what's going on around here. If there are any signs of um, Steenbok or Dikers or Impalas, she's going to be able to see them really nicely from here. She's just watching the coming and going of what's happening. So Tax is just trying to position himself better. It's a difficult area that we're in because of the amount of vegetation there is here. It's tough to get three vehicles kind of situated in one place. So we're just waiting for Tax just to sort out and then I'm sure she's going to start getting a little bit more sleepy again. Dead head Tom you want to know how old her current cub is well her current cub is just over eight months old so the first time we saw any sign of shadow giving birth was around new year's we had a sighting of her on Simambili where she had a leopard I mean she had a impala carcass and she was feeding and all of a sudden she got up and started running from the carcass and she was heavy heavy pregnant at that stage she ran and she went towards a drainage line and the guys found her the next morning and she was no longer pregnant so we know that she gave birth around New Year's it was either, I think it was the first or second of January and then that cub was born or well, two cubs were born and unfortunately one was lost so it's now just over eight months old which is means that it's getting to the age where the likelihood of it being more independent is, is or being able to survive um, is, is better so it's able to climb trees now it's able to maneuver around and that means that it's really going to have a much better chance of living we know that with Shogila and Hosanna they were abandoned at one year old or unfortunately orphaned or whichever way you want to look at it and they were able to survive so that little cub is getting to that age now where the chances of survival are getting better and better as the days go on so looking forward to seeing that cub more often and hopefully getting a lot more sightings of it it's difficult because she spends a lot of time off our traverse she spends time south of the boundary in Hoffmanns which is very little traverse for many people at all and so it's not seeing as many cars and that's why it's still a little bit on the nervous side so what I'm hoping is that Shadow is going to spend a lot more time here over the next few months and we'll be able to actually then see the cub and spend a lot more time with the cub and the cub will be able to relax around the vehicles in fact the last sighting i had with her in the cub was very special we had the cub was super relaxed around us and we had some great sightings toby you want to know how big shadow is well i'm not sure if you're asking in terms of weight or in terms of just in relation to some of the other leopards that we see here but 
Toby, in, in terms of uh, relating to the other leopards that we see, like Tandi and, and the varying others, she's a smaller female, which so is Tandi. They're very similar in size. Remember, they are sisters, so they're not the biggest females out here. But make no mistake, they still pack a serious punch, these two females. The two sisters, have I've seen them both bring down very large animals, and they might be on the smaller side, but they s make up for that with their attitude. They both are pretty good at being keeping things at bay and, and bringing down quite large items so even though she's a little on the smaller side she's still definitely capable to hold her own and she obviously didn't like her dust too much you can see a little tail twitched a little bit right well we're definitely going to spend probably the majority of our day with shadow now that she's relaxing on the mound and so while we sit and admire the view let's go back to tara in the tent and see what she's busy conjuring up in her lab <laughs> 